in a city dedicated to monumental sacrifices. There's one that stands strong and never surrenders. It just gave me chills. I, yeah, I'm impressed. I can't believe he's out there. Retired Marine Staff Sergeant Tim Chambers has stood at this post since 2002. It's an extremely long time. To hold a salute that long takes a lot of uh, determination, takes a lot of discipline. And this guy, he does it every year. With a stiff spine and straight shoulders, this lone Marine stands at attention as the thunder rolls by for more than three hours. They zoom by me and I get an eyeball at them and I'm trying to give every, every one of them that welcome home they didn't get. Chambers says it started as a spontaneous thank you, but is now his moral obligation. Like I said, I did 28 years in the Corps. I was a drone instructor. I am totally impressed with this young man. Totally impressed. Retired Marine Corps Major Larry Carmen says holding a salute this long is nearly impossible for a healthy Marine and unthinkable for a wounded warrior. He has a broken wrist. God bless him. <laughs> Only the slightest of a tremble gave Chambers away. A broken wrist that should have been in a cast, instead held high in a salute. I knew something was a little different. He, he started to waver a little bit today. That's dedication. That service before self is what that is. But as one hour bled into the next, the temperature started to soar. If you actually watch him right now, he's, he's in distress. Dave Macedonia ferried water and aspirin to chambers when it became apparent this soldier was in pain. You know, veterans help each other, and that's what I'm all about. And if he falls down out there, we're going to go help him. But Diane Hoagie says she knows her son would never let that happen. He was very determined. Everything he did, he put 150% she says he got it from his 81-year-old grandmother, who every year quietly stands on the sidelines, refusing to sit down until her grandson finishes what he started. It's really emotional. The lone Marine has now become a bit of a celebrity. People flock to this corner just to get a picture of him. But rather than let it go to his head, Chambers says he hopes others will follow his example. I'm doing this because America needs to see it, and I want them to emulate that any which way they can across country. Because for Staff Sergeant Tim Chambers, when it comes to remembering the men who serve, you never give up, you never surrender. Keep it up. Keep it up. At the Lincoln Memorial, Tisha Thompson, Fox 5 News.